like you might not know why why you're not getting surgery for example maybe your province has a cap on how many Chiari brain surgeries are are allowed or maybe maybe there's a complete cap in your province maybe you won't get surgery at all maybe maybe your your surgery completely is dependent upon the brain surgeon maybe it doesn't matter at all what the brain surgeon thinks or feels because there's there's a cap on how many surgeries can be done that's the thing right the medical system can be complex in many 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 different ways and there is literally this is this is my, one of my biggest complaints is there is no medical advocacy there's no one to help you help guide you through the system there's no one to help educate you there's no one to help you fight for medical care i'm literally being tortured and there's no one to help me fight this system to get the care i need or to help me get to another province I used to go to Walmart once a week. I've been to Walmart three times in the last six years. I am sick. My life is gone. My, my entire life has been destroyed. My life is gone. I am literally being tortured. If I showed you how I really felt, that my videos would be deleted. You have to understand that I'm downgrading my language and the, my intensity because the videos will be deleted. You know, you might ask yourself, uh, those who, who are delusional enough to think that this is a mental health issue, you might ask, oh, I'm going to turn around because the traffic's too loud. You might ask yourself, um, Oh, gee, why haven't they gone in there and just taken her by force and forced her into psych? Those of you who are, are have, have brainwashed yourselves or delusional enough to think that this is a mental health issue, why haven't they taken her by force? Why don't they just lock her up in a psych ward and force drug her? Force psych drugs on her or force sleeping pills on her, right? Force treatment. Well, I'll, I'll tell you the answer to that because it's not a mental health issue. Even if I, it, even if they did that to me, they would end up caught. And they know that I'm educated enough to understand this because we've actually had this conversation. They know that they will brain injure me, and. Okay, so I'm educated enough to know what all these medications do to you. I've, I've tried almost e every medication and any medication that, like my worst symptom is, is sleep, right? I'm critically sleep deprived and, and being brain injured at times. So critically sleep deprived and, and prolonged times of low oxygen, you know, there have been times I've woken up if someone would ask me my name, I couldn't have told you because I'm suffering from hypoxia so badly. Low oxygen. Which can cause brain damage and damage to the organs, right? So they know now, I, I'm educated enough to understand that they, they will. They can cause me brain or organ damage or kill me if they force treatment on me like that. I've had to wean off all medications to get my brain back, to get educated, to find out what's really happening here, to fight for my life. And they know that I know. They know that if, if I was forced that kind of treatment, them trying to, you know, people are often uh, threatened to, to shut up and, and I have been threatened to shut up and stop asking for care. They know that 
I know they could potentially kill me or brain damage me. And that's not paranoia, that's medical knowledge. That's, that's <laughs> medically sound knowledge. Uh, the medications that cause, you know, cause you to calm the hell down and to induce sleep, even induce sleep uh, off-label, even inadvertently uh, induce sleep, like something as benign as trazodone, I cannot take. So all the sedatives, all the medication, medications used off-label as major sedatives, anxiolytics, uh, you know, barbiturates, anything used off-label or on-label, any Z drugs, any of those drugs cause me harm, cause me uh, uh, respiratory depression. I'm already ble breathing too slow and I already hypoventilate. I retain carbon dioxide because my breathing is too weak and slow from my brain condition. And I was suffering from respiratory depression for years from the medications they did have me on. And now I'm not on any medications. But they know that I know that it's literally life-threatening. I could go out of some forced treatment like that. They could force treatment in a psych drug, like for, try to force me to sleep, try to force me to shut shut up already. And I could go from that that unit to a nursing home because I, I, I could potentially be so brain injured or they might end up killing me. You know, there are doctors who are who absolutely believe my story and are on my side and it grieves them to see patients being treated like this. They're, they're, they're horrified to be part of a system that is gaslighting brain patients and gaslighting people trying to force them to end their lives or trying to force them to leave the province or leave the country for health care. And there are lots of doctors who are not happy about this. Uh, one doctor told me, uh, one wealthy, w prominent physician here told me face to face, they're going to end up killing you with drugs if you're not careful. This is a very, very wealthy, well-known physician, and Canada is lucky to have this person here. Another doctor told me, oh, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what, what they're doing. I've seen grief on some specialists' faces. But they won't put on paper what's happening because they will not betray the system that's paying their paycheck, right? But they're, they're sickened by it, you know? Yesterday, a physician's, uh, no, on the 25th, a physician lost his life for, for saying disparaging comments about a colleague. Or, or, no, actually for telling the truth. But I know a couple other physicians that are being threatened right now by their colleges in Canada for speaking the truth, for trying to help a patient out. So if anybody thinks that, you know, the whole system is against me, they're not. It's heartbreaking to know that you're just a regular working Joe. You're just, you know, that uneducated, just simple people just working a job. I don't have a degree. I'm just fighting for my life. That we're being harmed to the, to the level that we're here. They will end up forcing us to take our lives because they're, they're not providing the health care that we're absolutely desperate for. It.